The Canadian government put a ban on foreign buyers in 2023, essentially preventing any non-Canadians from being able to buy a property in Canada over the next two years. So if you're planning to live here and buy a home, you would not be able to unless you met some specific criteria. Well, they've now changed some of that criteria and it might be some good news for some of you who wanted to buy a house here, but didn't really fit into the old rules of how they work. So stick around because I'm going to share with you the new rules to the Canadian foreign buyer bans and how this will impact you going forward forward if you did want to buy a house here in 2023. What's up everyone, it's Nick Vasquez here. If you don't know who I am, I'm a realtor here in Mississauga with years of experience helping clients buy and sell properties throughout the GTA. If you are thinking of buying a house here or selling a house here, please reach out to me. I'd love to connect with you and answer any questions that you have and help you make a smooth and successful move. You can call me, text me, email me, or book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link will be in the description below. Before we get into it, if you find this information valuable, if it's helpful for you at all, please just hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you wanna keep yourself informed on everything going on in the real estate market and just general information about the greater Toronto area, please consider subscribing to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's jump into all of the new changes for the Canadian foreign buyers ban. So this will be a pretty quick video because the changes are minor, but they are very impactful if you do fall into one of these categories. The new change basically wipes away some of the more ridiculous criteria that you would have had to have met if you wanted to buy a house. And it'll be some really good news for some of you who wanted to buy a house in 2023, but didn't think you would be eligible just because of how the rules were set up before. If you don't know anything about the ban, basically the Canadian government passed a law that prevented non-Canadians from being able to buy a home in Canada for the next two years. The ban was put in place on January 1st of 2023. If you fell under these three major categories, you still would have been able to buy. And number one is if you had a spouse or a common law partner that was Canadian, then the ban would not apply to you. Number two is if you were here as a student, the ban wouldn't apply to you, but there were some extra criteria that you would have had to meet. And that criteria is you would have had to have filed taxes for at least five years, you would have had to have been in Canada for at least 244 days for each of those five years, and you'd only be able to buy a property that's under $500,000. And the last major exclusion was if you were here as a temporary resident working here, then the ban would not apply to you. But the only stipulation is that you would have had to have worked and filed taxes in Canada for the last three years. Now those rules are still in effect, but there was a very important change with that last one. So let's just say you're a temporary resident here, you're working in Canada, maybe you moved here last year and you were thinking, I want to buy a house in 2023. Well, under the old rules, you would not have been able to because you haven't been living in Canada for at least three years and filing taxes for those three years. Well, good news for you, they did make a change to that requirement and Basically, the new rules are you can't have bought a property here already and you need to have 183 days left on your working visa. So if you're a first time home buyer, you're living in Canada here as a temporary resident, you have a job and you still have at least 183 days left on that working permit, then you are now able to buy a house. This is great news for families who may have just recently immigrated to Canada. You no longer now have to wait three years or two years until this ban is done. None of that applies anymore. If you're here, you're working and you have at least six months left on that working visa you're able to buy a house and of course if you have the budget for it and this goes for people who maybe have a spouse or a partner that is living here already and has six months left on your working visa you are able to purchase a home and in my opinion that's fantastic now from my understanding the rule regarding students and having to have filed taxes for the last five years and all that is still in play but if you're a temporary resident working here then the rules have changed dramatically and really give you that upper hand where you're actually able to now buy a home. There were a few other changes that they made to the ban, but this is the biggest one and the most major one that's gonna have the biggest impact. And I think it's gonna be some really good news for newcomers to the family who maybe wanna buy a home and set down some roots in one of the great communities that we have here in the GTA. So with that, if you are thinking of buying a house in Mississauga or anywhere in the GTA really in 2023, please reach out to me. I'd love to answer any questions you have and help you put a plan in place to make sure that you are able to get into that first home. You can call me, text me, email me, or book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. The link will be in the description below. I hope you learned something new with today's video. If you found some value in it, please just hit that like button. It does seriously help me out. Also, if you wanna keep yourself informed on everything going on in the greater Toronto area real estate market and the area just in general, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for all your support. Have a great week and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.